The Gladius MGP V is a unique guide wire designed to advance possibilities in complex peripheral interventions by combining narrow looping with lasting lubricity and excellent durability. The Gladius MGP V is an effective choice for crossing very complex lesions where the looping wire technique is effective. These very complex lesions include very long lesions, highly calcific lesions, and lesions with an ambiguous route. Due to its modified distal core design, combined with a polymer jacket for lubricity, the Gladius MGPV can track with a straight tip as well as forming and maintaining a narrow loop. This graph shows the flexibility of the tip for the most distal 3 cm of the Gladius MGPV. The most distal part of the core wire is very flexible, thereby ensuring durability of the guide wire. Due to a steep taper and sudden increase in rigidity, a looping point is formed. This is called the micro gap. Due to the high support and shaft rigidity right after the micro gap, the Gladius MGPV is able to form and maintain a narrow loop. Secondly, the high shaft rigidity gives a high push force necessary for crossing these very complex lesions. Prior to use, the Gladius MGPV should be flushed utilizing sterile saline to activate the hydrophilic slip coat technology. In this example, we see a very long occlusion in the posterior tibial artery. When using the Gladius MGPV, make sure to penetrate the cap with a straight tip in order to avoid slipping into spindle space before entering the lesion. Use a stiffer CTO wire for penetration if needed. Inside the lesion, the guide wire tracks with a straight tip until the tip gets trapped and a narrow loop is formed. Due to its modified distal form, featuring a micro gap, the Gladius MGPV maintains a narrow loop tracking down the posterior tibial artery in this case. This is what we call narrow looping. In case the loop does expand, it is important to control the size of the loop. This is what it looks like on an angiogram when the loop expands. In order to control the size of the loop, retract the guide wire until this is straight again. Utilizing Act 1 technology, which gives the Gladius MGPV durability and one to one torque, navigate around the hard part in the lesion and advance the guide wire until a narrow loop is formed again. A support catheter can be advanced to provide additional backup support. Gladius MGPV's unique modified distal core design, which allows for narrow looping, makes the guide wire perfectly suitable for very long lesions, highly calcific lesions, or lesions with an ambiguous route. Using the loop wire technique, for subintimal recanalization, a guide wire with a narrow loop keeps the true lumen open, thereby facilitating re entry back into the true lumen. Secondly, a narrow loop causes less extensive pass sections and reduces the risk of perforations. Since a narrow loop reduces the resistance inside the lesion, the guide wire is advanced more easily. Ultimately, a narrow loop might allow you to stay in the true lumen without entering the subintimal space, as seen in this case. The origin of the SFA is difficult to identify in this very long SFA occlusion. Therefore, a distal puncture with Gladius MGPV is performed. As shown here on the vinyl IFAS images, the Gladius MGPV stayed in the center of the vessel the whole time, preventing the need to re-enter. This will reduce procedure time and possibly mitigate the need for stent placement. Gladius MGPV is available in three different types. The 018 extra support version is indicated for above the knee lesions. The 014 extra support version is indicated for below the knee lesions. And the 014 non extra support is indicated for below the ankle lesions. All three versions have a polymer jacket, a 3 gram tip load, 
and are available in lengths ranging from 190 cm to 300 cm.